and welcome to the Hard Luck Blues TV show. My name is E.C. White, <clears throat> a.k.a. Hard Luck. And my guest this evening is Mr. Imperial Brown, I believe it is. Mr. Brown, welcome to the Hard Luck TV show. Well, thank you. That's a very appropriate title for your <laughs> show because I feel like I'm a product of hard luck <laughs> all my life. Well, it's a good hard luck, so... Yeah. We can uh, live with this one. Ms. Brown, tell us something about you. How did you make it to Memphis? Well, actually, it's a return to Memphis. I've been uh, related to Memphis all my life. My mother mm -hmm. was born right here in Germantown, Tennessee, which is basically Memphis. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my family on my mother's side is from DeSoto County, okay. uh, Mississippi. So that's right there across the state line. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud to get down here. Often, you know, staying with the family down there, still have family ties down there. So Ooh, this yeah. is just really my this second home. home. Huh? Yeah, so uh, this, I'm not a stranger in Memphis. Are you recording uh, now? Uh, what's uh, yes, sir? Actually, I'm back here this week working with my producer and musician James Jackson. You oh, may yeah. know him as yeah, Jay. No. But he's affiliated with Echo Records, and he's the one who did a lot, most of the production work on my CD that I did, which is called Imperial Soul. And um, I'm working with him now, and I hope to get back with him again tomorrow to do some things mm -hmm. to kind of finish up. But uh, I enjoy working with him. He's a very talented producer, uh, engineer, technician, mm -hmm. musician. He understands the music the way I do. We both um, we like the same type of music. Mm -hmm. uh, as for me, and I say this about my ties to Memphis, I grew up on Stax Records. Mm -hmm. Stax Records sound, mm -hmm. which you may be familiar with. Oh, yes. Uh, Johnny Taylor, Isaac Hayes, Staple Singers, Eddie Floyd, people like this. Mm -hmm. Is the kind of music that I grew up on, as well as, of course, I came up in a time where Motown was really popping, uh, but you also had Stax, and mm -hmm. uh, that was one of my earliest influences oh, yeah. as well. So, yes, I'm definitely in the process now of doing some recording, and uh, at least on the second, actually on the second and third album. I want to do two more albums with Jay this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Man. So you're gonna be really busy. You're gonna, you've already completed one. Yeah, uh, we completed mostly. most of the background on the second album, mm -hmm. but uh, I have not put down any vocals yet. Okay. So basically, okay. we're concentrating on getting the music down. Okay. And okay. Uh, I would hope, the, at the rate that we're going, at least by the end of sept, the end of September. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll have all the music done, and then I just have to deal with the vocals, and then we can put the finishing touches on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, what's the uh, new project? What is it called, the music? The, this CD. collection is going to be called I Can't Go Back. Mm -hmm. And i tell you where I got that song title from. I consider I Can't Go Back to be... If I had to pick a top five or top ten songs that I've ever written, mm -hmm. that would be one of them. Mm, okay. I wrote I Can't Go Back. It had to be around 1981. Yo. Yeah, I was a boy, a little <laughs> boy then when I wrote that That's song. That's a ways back. <laughs> but um, I, I felt like I want to do it again. I did release it last year the version I was able to do, but I want to do it again in a new version. Um, you know, one thing I like about being a songwriter and now having the opportunity to work with talented people like Jay mm -hmm. and Gerard Rayburn, who is my cousin, mm -hmm. and also DJ Redlocks, who's also my producer engineer in Chicago. He's also my yoga teacher. But working with people like this, I'm able to experiment and look at a piece of music from different perspectives because mm -hmm. even now I'm thinking on this upcoming project that I'm dealing with now mm -hmm. I'm gonna have more than one version mm -hmm. on these songs 
I'm not going to restrict myself to one version. I mean, I may have, when I'm doing the vocals, I may have another one where a female is doing the vocals. Mm -hmm. I may have one uh, instrumental version only. Mm, okay. But because I have that control and I'm working with somebody who's able to appreciate that, you know, that's what I'm, I like so much about the creative process now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, this is uh, one of the few songs that you will be finishing up and starting a new one at the same time. Yes. What I'm working on now in this to tell you how it's going to appear, it's probably going to be six songs. One of them is going to be called I Can't Go Back, which is the title of mm -hmm. the collection. Six songs, and again, I might do some alternative uh, versions on it, more than one version. But uh, again, we're looking uh, very excited to be working on this project. We had some good studio sessions this week, very good. Mm -hmm. Even Gerard stopped by there and uh, heard us for a few minutes and uh, said how much he was impressed with it. And it may be a spot for him. Maybe he might add some guitar or something. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's going to really make it good to have your uh, uh, legs playing on your music, and uh, I'm gonna get beat up because I'm trying to get into this interview and I forgot something. But it's okay. It's okay. We can make it. Yeah, we can but, make uh, it. Yeah, on. we're gonna have to. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just uh, some vocals. She was asking me about a minute ago. Uh, what's your burden on vocals? Uh, I guess that you're doing now. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're just working on this one project. Right. Well, no, I won't even say that. Well, it's another project, but right, right. now just this one version that you are, are working on. Now. Right. Let me tell you really just what G Geechee Line Music is the name of my organization or my company. I consider myself the president of Geechee Lion Music. That's G-E-E-C-H-E-E -E -E -E, Lion Music. I'm Geechee Lion. I'm Imperial Brown. What have you. But we have actually on the drawing board six albums to be done before this year's out. That's a lot We of got at least two that we work working on for Imperial Brown. Now Imperial Brown, the Imperial Brown sound, I would, cla I would classify it as soul, blues, you know, rhythm and blues, soul, southern soul, even some country, even some gospel. Well, that's what she was saying. Where did uh, all your uh, names come from? Geechee line, is that uh, uh, like uh, uh, Louisiana, I can tell you exactly where it okay. came from. I'm proud to tell you because uh, also besides being a musician, which I'll go ahead and claim that I'm a musician. I remember speaking to someone, I think, last year. We were out in the park, and we was trying to, we were musicians, right, but we was trying to call ourselves not musicians because we don't do, do this and we don't do that. And they said, well, what do you do? Said, well, uh, we play music on this instrument and we write music and stuff. I said, well, that sounds like a musician to me. So, Geechee Lion, uh, one other thing that I do is I'm a family researcher. I research my family history, and I've gone back at least to the 1700s. Mm -hmm. And my great-grandfather, Nathan McKelvin, he was a Geechee okay. coming from the islands of South Carolina. Okay. So by me being in that lineage, I decided to name my company and it, in honor of him, Geechee Lion. Mm -hmm. And I was partially raised by his daughter, who was my gran grandmother. And, and I found that her father was a Geechee. Oh. So that makes me have that... Uh, heritage is and that, yes, Geechee okay. from South is there Carolina. Anybody you want to send a shout out to, and we're gonna wrap this up. So uh. sure, I would like to say that 
you know, Geechee Lion is working. Uh, here, I just had a birthday. That's where the lion came from. My zodiac sign is Leo. Okay. So that's where <laughs> Geechee Lion came from. And Imperial He's Brown. Dude. <laughs> right. And Imperial Brown, again, we are working on at least looking to do six albums this year. I'm going to be recording in Memphis, Chicago. I may even be doing some recording in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. in Wisconsin, because I have people, I have family in all those areas that's musicians. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, try to top this one off and poke my chest out a little bit and... Uh, I'll uh, probably get beat up today, but I'm tough. So uh, if there are, uh, you know, uh, any other person you'd like to send a shout-out. Yes, i like to. Over the time. No, we're sure. not. No, we're sure. on time. Sure. Check this out. I definitely want to thank uh, my cousin Gerard Rayborn. Uh, I've known of him. Don't get him beat up. I won't get him beat up, but... Uh, I'm uh, glad to be able to start uh, working with him. Oh, yeah. So I'd like to definitely shout out to him. I'm going to be working with Gerard Rayborn. And we have a new website, and I want to tell you about it. It's www.chilionsoul.com. And that's spelled C-H-I-L-I-O-N, soul, S-O-U-L.com. When you go to that website, you're going to see all information regarding what Gerard Rayburn is doing mm -hmm. and what I'm doing under my different artists. And you're also going to see something there about Mailman, the Mailman of Southern Soul. Oh, okay. He also has a seasoning that he's dealing with. Oh, okay. So you're going to find our team. We're like Team Rayborn. Oh, okay. So we're like an association. Well, Shout we're out to CheatLionSoul.com. Shout outs. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up and uh, hopefully uh, we'll just, just, just hold with me for a minute.
careful not to be a total wreck Watching you move in that yoga attire I feel the fire that incites my desire Getting to know you with the passage of time I like your stuff and I hope you like mine I'm guilty of having thoughts and ideas in mind Sometimes I feel I'm guilty of a crime Don't call the law, lady, I don't mean you no harm Don't call the law, naturally attracted to your charms Don't call the law, I ain't trying to get in no more trouble Don't call the law, if you say so, I've gone on the double Don't call the law To take you somewhere Make a phone call, a message And I will be there I can be your personal shopper I will go to any store I'll always be a gentleman Holding open
What's up, Doc? Man, where you at? I'm outside. Waiting on you. You all right out here? Hey, nephew, how you doing today? I'm glad you're on time. Baby, we got a lot to do, baby. We got to go to liquor store. We got 30 minutes to get there, man. Hey, man. I'm glad you're on time, Doc. Let's do it then, nephew. Hey, man. I'm just old school, all right, but it's sad, man. It's over here some blues, Doc. Well, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad, I love my blues.
Miss Jody, you know. 